Maria, thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Brian. Talking a little bit about uh, ASP.NET, Microsoft's open source efforts. So you're, my, you're an evangelist. Yes, I am. And you do a lot of work with students. I do a lot of work with students. Tell so, me some about that. So I actually work and manage our relationships for all the schools in New York. Oh. So I work with schools like NYU and Columbia. Occasionally I work with Princeton, and we kind of figure out how we can support their developer story from student startups to game developers, like just all round. So what sort of projects are they working on? Oh yeah, it depends, right? So it depends on the school that you're working with. So NYU has this really unique place of where they are both entrepreneurs and game developers and indie, and indie app builders as mm -hmm. well. So one of the major things that they work on is a lot of big data and a lot of web, right? Right. So you have all this data analysis that you're doing, how are you going to present it? So they actually look at things like Node, so when I'm thinking about things like that, why can't we introduce ASP.NET into that story as well? So how does that fit in then? With the students right now? How does ASP.NET fit with students? I, at the moment, they're not really thinking about it. Oh. And I think I kind of touched, about, touched on that with my talk, but with the new ASP.NET 5, I think it actually gives us the opportunity to have that conversation now, right? So be happy where you are, right? So now we have right. Visual Studio Code, which is open source. You can run it on any single right operating system of your choice. Also, you can work with the editor that you want using OmniSharp. So you actually have all these opportunities to work with students without disrupting what they're doing right now. So the goal is for the students to not have to care about their technology stack and worry about the code? Yes, exactly. Teach them something new. Fantastic. And how are they responding? So far, so good. I was actually quite impressed. Once I actually showed them how to do everything in the command line, they got really excited. So I've actually heard from a couple of students that going found new project, as much as it's great, they don't feel like they have that sense of control. But when they do it in the command line, they feel like they understand how everything comes together. So doing things like DNU, restore a package, DNX, run, the, run it on the server, now they understand how that all comes together. Raising a new generation to respect the command line? Yes, exactly. That's great. They're becoming more retro. <laughs> yeah. So what are you most looking forward to with the ASP.NET 5? Oh, so much. I think more than anything, I look forward to people contributing to it. Mm -hmm. And also, especially the students that I work with, being excited about contributing to this project as well, right? We have all these different things that are open source, but how community members are actually responding to being a part of this story is something I'm really excited about. So considering that when I showed in my slide today that there were over 16,000 people who were actually making forks to the ASP.NET 5 project, going up to over 17,000 in the span of a night, mm -hmm. that tells a really good story. That's really exciting. Right. Yeah. So where do you see these efforts going in the future? Um, in terms of, I think it's going to grow. I think we're going to start seeing, at least in my space, the use of .NET at more hackathons, which is very big in this space. Right. I think we're going to have people outside Microsoft talking about it as well. So that's what I'd really like to see. Like, so at the next OSCON, we have someone who is an independent community member talking about .NET. That's fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time. I really appreciate you talking to me. Thank you for speaking to me, too. Thanks.